Let's get right to our breaking news out of Trenton. The hostage standoff is now over. It lasted nearly three days and involved three children who are safe. Annie McCormick is live on Grand Street with the very latest. Annie. Onidia State Police and the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office have confirmed that those three hostages are now safe. The suspect is in custody. He is getting checked out by medical personnel. Now, it's still a sad scene because the suspect did allegedly kill his live-in girlfriend and one of her five children on Friday. That's what police say brought them out here to the scene. They say originally it was a welfare check, and then they saw two deceased people inside, and that is when the negotiations began. But out here now in the South Trenton neighborhood, the news that the standoff is over is giving everyone a sense of relief. This was the scene around 4 a.m. as SWAT teams moved into the unit in the 200 block of Grand Street. You can hear what appears to be a flash bomb, possibly gunfire. A dramatic end to a scene family, friends, and residents watched unfold for days. The best way I could describe it, it was just like a movie, you know what I mean? Never seen nothing like this in my life. Soon after the brief commotion, three ambulances left the scene. Three hostages are now safe, the gunman in custody. Friday afternoon, police knew inside this brick home that an alleged double murderer had three people hostage, the children of his girlfriend who he allegedly killed. Yesterday, family members told Action News that one of the victims is Carmen Lita Stevens, a mother of five. One of her children is also deceased. Police conducted a welfare check Friday afternoon. The suspect came to the door with a gun, and two people were seen dead in the home. Police retreated and negotiated. Negotiations began. It took more than 30 hours, but now it's over. Friends, family, and police are relieved. It didn't end with more fatalities. And of course, still so many questions still waiting to be answered. We are expected to hear from the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office and State Police later on this morning around 10 a.m. Family members, though, yesterday told Action News that they believe this all began because the victim told the suspect that he had to move out. Now, some piece of good news, the 19-year-old autistic son that the victim had were told is safe and with family and was not a hostage at all. We we're told again that he is safe. For now, reporting live in South Trenton, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News. Annie, thanks for the update.